Hello everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick and no there isn't someone's car alarm going off in the background. This is on the Zelix Spectrum, uh, Road Frog, published by Spectrum Games in 1983. Originally designed for the 16K, but we're going to be playing this on 48K. It's based, if you haven't already guessed, on the game called Frogger from the arcades, but from Sega in 1981. Uh, you must guide a frog across a road and then a river and then put him in a position uh, safe on the other side. So here we are, we're that blue thing down the bottom. It's pretty basic coding this, so up we go. Right, there we go, so we're across the road. Now we've got to go on these logs to get across this river and you'll see there's gaps, um, like those cyan gaps. We need to get our frog in each one of those. Boom, so that's one done. And if we fill all those up, we've completed the game and I presume it just restarts again. Yes, road frog. I'd imagine this name is a, um, a play on the words Road Hog, but uh, this frog's got to go past this traffic. Good luck, Froggy. Will he do it? I don't know. Whenever he dies, you'll hear the uh, funeral march. Uh, I think that's by Fred Gustav, possibly. Right, the, the keys aren't very responsive here. Right, that's two in. Sometimes you hit um, the button and it doesn't go. So M and N left and right, and uh, Z is up. See, I've just crashed into a van there. So this is the only way, really, that frogs can uh, get around by crossing uh, three lanes of traffic and also um, a river. Odd road, this. You've got cars moving one way um, on the outside, and in the middle, you've got cars going the uh, other way. I don't know how they turn off this road. It's carnage if you want to pull off the motorway, I think. This is designed by a town planner, Nincompoop. Come on, frog. Right, you'll see my lives in... Oh dear, you see my lives in the top right. I thought we died then, but we hadn't. Now, the music when you die is very similar to the music when you succeed. So sometimes you don't really know what's going on. Yes, sometimes I'm hitting Z to go up. There's no down button, and it's not actually um, responding. Go up! Right, got on it. Right, we've got four out of two. Now, oh, out of six, I should say. Those ones on the far left look a bit harder to get the frog into. The further you get in the game, the busier the traffic is. Now, the idea for this game, let's just concentrate here, first of all. There we go. The idea of this game was taken from Horace Goes Skiing, that first level where he has to get across the traffic, and that's a lot more involved than this one. I never played the arcade game back in 1981, but I've seen hundreds of different versions of Frogger. This one is Road Frog. It's programmed in basic, I think, which makes the controls not too great. But there's a lot moving on the screen at the same time, and the uh, the frame rate is pretty smooth apart from that frog. Is it a frog? It looks more like a spider to me. Oh man, it's so close. I was so close to doing that then. As I say, that gap on the top left is the hardest one to get the frog in as he gets run over, I think, by a Formula One car. Bom, 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 bom. Right, here we go. We're going to do it this time. What? How did I die there? How did I die there? That's a glitch. Now this river is dangerous to swim down because you see there's logs going either way. I don't know why the logs go two ways down the river. Um, it obviously flows in different directions um, somehow. It's the only river in the universe that does this. On the outside it flows different speeds and in the middle it flows, uh, yeah. Anyway, you've got to suspend... Oh, I'm dead. You've got to suspend your disbelief in this game. It's just a, an arcadey idea. Off we go again. Can we get all the uh, one, two, three, four, six frogs into their pads? Or not? Probably not. But, you know, a miracle could happen. So you don't get too much more basic than uh, this game. Uh, early arcade game, so... If you went down the arcades in the very early 80s, you had Space Invaders, Asteroids, Pac-Man and Frogger. Oh, what wonderful times. Bom, man, imagine spending all your pocket money playing this. Bom, 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 bom. Go, go, go. Now, this game or different versions of it come out on practically every other system. If you played a different version on any other system, then let me know. How did it play compared to this? Was it different or was it virtually the same? Obviously, colours and traffic will be different, but was it more fun? Was it less fun? This would have kept a kid going for quite a while, I think. They would have loaded it up every now and again. 
only because there wasn't too much of a comparison. And uh, despite the rather sluggish controls, it doesn't play too badly. The rules are quite obvious, you don't have to wade through pages and pages of instructions. And as a kid, we weren't big on the instructions. I'm big on the instructions now, to be honest with you. And you can just pick up and play this one. There's just three buttons, left, right and up. I would have liked a, a down button as well. I think the normal Frogger game got that, has it? It must do. Right, I'm trying to get the most difficult one first here, but we're zipping through our lives. We've got one frog left. There's a lot of crushed frogs on this road. You need to build an underpass or something. But at least he hasn't got to go skiing afterwards like Horace and in Horace Go Skiing. Hooray! Right, is it a frog? Is it a spider? Horace and the spider frogs. Keep an eye on it. Oh, yes, I've done it. Right, good. Right, so I've got the trickiest one. Unfortunately, we've only got one life now to do all the others. It should get gradually easier here. Game on! Right, is it finally going to come good here? We're going to complete a game, are we? Careful. Steady. Steady. Easy as falling off a log, this. Right. There we go. There's a the second trickiest one done. Four left. It's getting gradually easier. Don't get run over by the traffic. Boom. That road now is like child's play. But if you are a child watching it, that isn't licensed to run across the road. It's dangerous. Find a zebra crossing or a traffic light. Right, okay, I missed the one I was going for, but that one was okay. So three left. We're halfway through the game. No DLCs for this that I know. The uh, Magenta Formula 1 cars are still driving through, unable to pull off the road because of the traffic either side. Burr, burr. Right, okay, let's try and fill in that gap now, shall we? Oh, come on, Zed. Phew. It wasn't going to do it then. Like, frogs can swim, can't they? I mean, they might have trouble getting across the road, but I'm sure they can swim. They don't need these ro logs. Perfect hole. Two left. Two left. Bom 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 frog. Bom 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 road. Bom 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 bom. Come on, let's do this thing. Always need funky music. The uh the road traffic noise sounds okay, or is it the river noise? It's one of the two. But it's better than no noise at all. Yes! One left, folks. The frog's coming home. Right, here we go. Go, 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 frog. He does look like he might be on skis, actually, already. Oh, that was close. Right, okay. Are we going to complete this game? Don't get don't get held up by sluggish controls this time. Right, get onto the top row. We're on the top row. Time it right. No! Oh, no! Oh, it's just one square out. Oh, no, that's that's horrendous. M in, left and right. Well, we'll do one last go, one quick go on it. I don't really want to do another go, but let's do another go. We're playing it, what, this, about eight minutes? Right, here we go. Let's Same again, let's try and get the top left first. Du -du. Du -du. Come on. Try and get the top there. So quick up twice and we'll get in there. Oh, we've hit into the side of the screen. Oh, oh my god, the computer's reset. Well, that brings an end to the review. Games sometimes did that. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Road Frog, published by Spectrum Games in 1983 for the 16K, but this has been played on the 48K, based on the arcade game Frogger by Sega in 1981. If you've got any comments about this game, then please put them below. If you'd like to support the channel and ensure its long-term survival, that is always welcome at patreon.com slash njenkin. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.